It is a decision for which I take responsibility. I'm the President of the United States, and I signed off on the general decision and giving her the authority to make the last call. I made the decision. I'm accountable. The buck stops with me, and nobody ever accused me of running from a decision that I made based on the best information that I had. Uh, he, she is not ultimately responsible to the American people. I am. We have given them various ultimatums. We had various tanks that actually attached uh, towing mechanisms to these vehicles and they were pulled out. In no way were they destroyed. Those vehicles were in fact removed with no destruction attached to those vehicles. And, and really the more that normal citizens know about what happened in Waco, the more upset they become. The truth has not been very widely known about it. I am an American who is outraged. You keep, you ask me, are you angry? Yes, I am outraged at what I saw in Waco. The February 28th raid was the largest law enforcement operation of its kind ever attempted by the Federal Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, and Firearms. It was also its greatest tragedy. BATF created a tragedy that didn't have to happen. They created a disaster that didn't have to happen. And then they dropped it in the FBI's lap. My name is Jeff Jamar, and I'm the special agent in charge of FBI operations here in Waco. Could you spell your name? It's J-A-M-A-R. First name is Jeff. The area is a crime scene. The goal is to resolve this situation, ultimately in federal court, with no further bloodshed. I think the FBI in this situation has shown remarkable restraint. I think they did not lose their patience. I think they carefully thought this out, developed it as part of a coherent and continuing plan. Today was not meant to be D-Day. We were prepared to carry it out tomorrow and the next day and do everything we could to effect a peaceful resolution of this matter. We completely control the compound. We have the ability at any time to turn off the electricity or any access that they may have with the outside world. We will utilize that ability at various times. I will not tell you when we're going to do it or the reasons why we're going to do that.
brought you here in the first place to Waco, Texas? To study with David. Okay, and uh, a, a question that everybody wants to know, do you want to leave? Are you being held here against your will? Do you, uh, uh, I, I want to leave when God says go, but um, no, I don't want to go out there on my own without David and everyone else, the rest of my family. So they're inside seeing themselves as the persecuted, oppressed, martyred people of God. Outside are forces that are, from their viewpoint, pressuring, lying, conniving, using all kinds of tactics to try to manipulate them. Babylon.